This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install memory into an HP Z440 workstation. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com. It's spelled just like it shows in this logo here. Um, once you get to GreenPCGamers.com, uh, you want to click on the blog page. And you can search articles for Z440. Um, it's going to bring up an article called HP Z440 Gaming Computer and Other Hardware Upgrades. Click on that. This is going to bring you to an awesome page that will show you a bunch of hardware upgrade ideas that you can do for your Z440 workstation, as well as we'll share some of the high clock speed memory part numbers. So if you haven't located memory yet for your Z440 and you need help locating those part numbers, check out this page. All of the information is free. Um, we don't do just memory. I mean, we do procs. Um, NVMe drives, graphics cards, monitors, and a, a bunch of other accessories. And we do how-to videos on, on how to install the components. So if you have a Z440, you definitely want to bookmark this page as a reference. All right, so let's get to our actual install. Um, we're first going to start out with sharing some information about uh, the Z440 memory. Um, and then we'll move on to the actual uh, physical install of the memory modules. So the Z440 supports up to 256 gig of DDR4 registered modules or memory. Um, it has eight physical slots. Uh, the general rule of thumb as far as how fast that your memory will run at or what clock speed it's going to run at is uh, V3 procs will run at 2133p and V4 procs will run at 2400t. Um, and that's not always true, but it's a general rule of thumb that you can normally go by. Now, if you want to figure out exactly how fast your memory will run at based off of your processor, um, what you want to do is go into your device manager in Windows 10, uh, look at your processor and see what version it is. Then you're going to go to Intel's website and look up uh, what the memory will run at best based off of Intel's um, specs, their information on their site. Now we're going to show you how to do that here quickly. So it's pretty simple. Now if you install uh, like 2400T modules and you, and you have a V3 processor, don't worry about it. They're just going to clock down to 2133P. So... Let's right click on start when you're in Windows 10 and then go to the device manager. Then all you have to do is click on processors. In our case, we have uh, E52637V3 processor in this system. Now those are gonna clock out at 2133P, uh, but we're still gonna go to Intel's site because now we know our model, which is the E52637, and we know our V3. So we're gonna to go to Google. This is the fastest way to get to this page. Type in Intel E5 2637V3. Search it. The top option is gonna be Intel's website and it's gonna bring us right to our proc spec page. So what you wanna do is scroll down to where it says memory specifications. This is gonna tell you the max clock speed for your CPU, which is 2133. It shows on the far right here. It's also capable of running at those other slower speeds. Um, depending on what memory you have installed in your system. So and here's an example. We're going to type in E51680 V4. This proc is also compatible with the Z440. This one will run at 2400 megahertz. So that's how you look and determine how fast the memory is, uh, or how, how fast your system is capable of running when it comes to the memory clock speed. So here's our Z440 workstation. It's scratched up. It is a refurb unit. And here's the uh, four 8 gig 2133 register modules that we're going to install. I'm going to pause this for a second. So we have 8 gig uh, 2R by 8 PC4, which is DDR4, 2133P modules. And this letter right here says R. That means it's a registered DIMM. Um, so y you don't want yours to say U because um, HP doesn't certify the U DIMMs for this. So you definitely want it to say R. All right, so we have four 8 gig modules. I know these don't have the HP certified stir on them, but I can tell you that they do work. Um, so you want to put your system on its side, remove the side panel like so. And then we have an air baffle that we need to remove to access the memory slots. So there's two little green clips that we want to loosen up, and then we're going to pull up on this. Now, we're going to start on this side towards the back of the chassis. You gotta want to be kind of like gentle yet firm when you remove that one because that's where the connection is for the cable harness for the fans. So that side's a little bit harder to remove. Um, I, I had to use two hands to remove it. Uh, but once you do that, the other side uh, removes pretty quickly. And now you can see your eight 
memory slots, two banks of four. All right, so there's slots one through four and five through eight. Okay, so we're going to install our modules into the black slots, which are I believe are one, three, six, and eight. Yes, one, three, six, and eight. So we just, we're going to open up those slots first before we actually try to install the modules because um, it makes it a little bit easier when you're actually putting the module in. All right, so here's our modules again, 8 gig, a 2RB8, DDR4, 2133P, 2133P register dims. Um, so there's a little notch in the middle of that uh, module. You want to line that up with the slot on the motherboard. And if you do that right, you'll be able to shimmy each side in really, really easily. So each side will click in. If it doesn't click in really easily, that means you probably haven't lined up that notch. So ours are going in really well. Just line the module up. And because we've already opened up the slot, all you have to do is push and each side will click in. You can push it in the middle, but it just doesn't work as well as if you shimmy it from left to right on each side. All right, so now we're going to put our modules in slots one and three on the other bank. Now, if you have eight modules, just fill up all the slots. You know, Make sure they all match. If you're going to do two different capacity modules, um, do... Do this, uh, you know, each capacity, you know, if you're going to do four fours and four eights, um, do four fours in the black, four fours in the, in the white. All right, now we need to put our uh, baffle back on because our memory modules are installed. And it just drops in. Each side will click. And it will be flush for our side panel to fit back on. All right, we'll put our side panel on. And now we're ready to basically plug our system back in and then we're going to go into the F F10 setup on the HP system so we uh, went into F10 when prompted in post um, this is going to give us our basic system information uh, we're going to go to advanced uh, we see that we have 32 gig of 2133P modules installed and we can see our 8 gig modules it says 8 gig Samsung dim slots one three six and eight because we know our modules are working now if you couldn't get to this screen if it was beeping at you that means you probably had the wrong memory installed or you have uh, uh you or you've mixed memory modules that you can't mix so now we're going into windows 10 and we can see that windows uh, is recognizing all 32 gig of memory which is great uh, we do have a 64-bit os installed uh, that is required for uh, your system to see all 32 gig of ram so if this video was helpful to you please consider hitting that subscribe button um, also we do monthly giveaways on our facebook page which is greenpcgamers.com no spaces just like you see on the screen um, if you like free stuff definitely like us on facebook thank you so much for watching